at the video right here at this mint plant. Look at that. It was all killed off and it's coming back. The lavender's still doing good right there. I need to put that in a new pot. I got onions coming back up over here that I thought I had taken all up, but guess not. Lots of weeds. Strawberries are doing good. Surprisingly, we're still getting strawberries on them at Thanksgiving. This is just weird. And look at I got calendula. Isn't that pretty? Those plants aren't doing so hot. I was wondering when they came back up, but it is definitely fall. My garlic's coming up. My collards are all doing good. The blueberries are losing all their leaves. And the mint has taken over those blueberry bushes I need to Still need to get those out of there. And look, there's even mint coming up where these are. It's nuts. Look at, look at all these pretty flowers. I don't normally see these kind of flowers at this time. My walking onions are looking kind of sad right now, but they always come back. Sad. This is still looking good. I'm not sure why, but... And this is getting buried by the leaves. <laughs> Garden is bare right now, most of it. But I saw the flowers, I just wanted to show you guys. I don't know if these are flowered back here or not. I should go check. I haven't been in the back. <laughs> Oh, there's flowers on that, too. Got flowers back here as well. And I'm probably going to regret it, but I left tomatoes laying in the beds. <laughs> we'll see if I regret it. <laughs> but that's the garden right now. And if I can get my husband to open the garage, he's in there messing around. I think your roommate's going to do it instead. Yep, Eric answered it. <laughs> oh, I didn't have my... Didn't have my phone on me. Sorry. I was, I knocked on the door. Oh, I was... Eric answered. Yeah, I heard. I thought it was that door knocking. <laughs> Sorry. He's got this one apart. Yeah, I already. Well, I fixed that one. Well, halfway fixed that. I fixed one of the two things that I needed to adjust on it. I took last weekend. I took it for its longest ride. That one and this one both went on about an hour ride each. And uh, we figured out just the last little tiny few little things that needed to be. Uh, well, that can be the case later. Um, He's putting new wheels on this. Yeah. I started with the easy side. <laughs> this one's actually going to get sold because we ordered me a different one that actually is made for my weight. Yeah, we got a new one. I'm excited to get the new one. It's going to be a fun little project. <laughs> yeah, to see this one just 
sits there and it's, it's already, I didn't have to push it one way or the other, <laughs> like I did the last one, set of wheels. Yeah, this one. Doesn't it need to be up more in the groove, though? Not sitting right in the center. It's resting on the top. I should have right, right at the top, right in the center. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to change the back wheels out on this today. Um. Take this bike. So, I haven't really showed him this bike. No, you haven't. I don't think we've showed him that one at all. This is a 1940 Shelby long thing. And upside down at moment. Yeah. <laughs> well, what I'm doing, I'll bring it closer. I should have came closer. So. Somebody had spray painted it black. Yeah. That's the tube I have it. And I've been washing He's all the unburying the blue. Yeah, the factory blue and white. Which will look since it'll be kind of old and crusty looking, it'll look good in the back of the old crusty blue truck. <laughs> I've been, been uncovering the factory white starts blue. It's a little rough in spots, but it's okay. Better than the old black and white paint that's all got runs and all kinds of stuff in it. I'm going to close this door. It's cold. That's the tank like. for it. That's what the whole bike looked like when I started. Pretty neat. Kind of a different frame style than what I usually do. The other ones fit me better, but this one fits me decent. And then I have. Oh, I have. So Shelby made three different types of cranks. The, the design on the crank. This is a, um, I call this one the spider web. And this one is the snowflake. <laughs> This one's the foam dial. <laughs> Rides is a little cramped today. Why is it the phone dial? The old pilot style rotary phone with the hurt circles in the They weren't like that though. No. They're all one. They were all one size hole. But that's what everybody calls it. <laughs> all my, all my uh, vintage bike friends. Um, oh, the, the um, head badge on this is kind of neat too. The flying cloud. The old pirate ship. And this one's an eagle. With a department store. Is it? That, that one's a one? Shelby Flyer.
Yeah. Yeah, see. What else? Oh, one of the other neat things about this bike, I don't know if I've showed it before, it has jewels in the in the grips. They were back then they were kind of in the art. Got red, and that one's got green. And there's a reason for that, and I can't remember yeah, it. Yeah, I can't remember right offhand either. It's uh, something to do with safety. <laughs> Yeah, we're trying to get this back together so we can sell it. But while we're storing it, we're going to store it in the back of the truck since her other trike is coming tomorrow. Yeah, we they told me between the 14th and the 18th of December, but then I got a notice saying it's coming tomorrow. Oh, yeah, way early. I like it. That's a quick little garage update today. <laughs> garden and garage. Yeah. Because I did garden too. Nice. You show them the flower? I did. There's more than one flower out there. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think I think uh, after I get this little project done, I might go out and blow up some leaves. But thought we'd give you guys a little update. And yeah. happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Thanksgiving, everybody. Have a good day. He's actually in there cooking. And he doesn't know I even got it pointed at him. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.